God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But a generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasya tabo meka baba kamande kaidatos. We will hold nothing, Jesus. You want a generation? We offer you one. Let the waitings come to an end. But to mature into Him. You see, um, I think I've said it here. I heard Apostle message, but he said it to me personally that week of Apostle Wally's wedding. No, I preached for Apostle Wally after his wedding. When you are fighting principalities, powers, the Bible calls it wrestling. Somebody say wrestling. How many of you have watched wrestling before? Let's create a scenario. Who are the rest, who are the guys wrestling now? Okay, Roman Reigns. Who else? Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is not busy big guy. If you slap Brock Le- Lesnar. Because he's wrestling, he will beat you back. So in wrestling, apt does not mean defeat. Are you with me? Eh? Okay, just go on YouTube and type WWE. What one I license you to what one this night? You will see that the two people fighting, they used to blow themselves. If you blow the enemy on behalf of a family. The enemy will blow you for a family. It does not mean you are losing. That your body is freezing. And you can't shout Jesus. That person that wrote this message is the one that still wrote it. It means that after freezing. You see engaged. What do they call it? Defrost mode. You see came back. You will not die. Such is the way of those who contend. Uh... No, 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 they are just discouragements to stop fighting. If what you were doing was not affecting the enemy, you'll be sleeping well. It means you are just wasting your hours praying for your family. There will be no redemption. It's because you are touching the enemy, and the enemy knows, ah, it looks as if this boy is the one that will fulfill the omen that one day I will lose touch in this family. Let me let me freeze him. So when you blew him, pa, pa, ka, pa, ka, pa, you were sparing in tongues. You know, how they used to do in Nigerian film. He was doing like that. He now came back. He now gave you, pa. <laughs> After a while, you find yourself. When you come out of that experience, don't go to bed. For once, that means that you are now in the ring. Because when Roman Reigns is coming in, he can be doing this. His ear is beating. It means now you have, he has, the enemy has blown one. It means you are in a place where you can do good business. You don't go to bed immediately. You now, you now press. You now press. You knock some few blows. After a while, you see that the enemy will not come again. Your sister will now marry. Your brother will now get a job. Life will now begin to get well. But such is the way of those who contend for their families. Praying for your family is being willing to take blows for your families. So appreciate God that now you are a warrior and move on. It's not a sign that you are spiritually weak, it's a kind of attack. Sometimes you will feel that something slap you with thunder and you have migraine for two days. It doesn't mean that the enemy is strong. It just means that now we are wrestling. Even though your head is aching you, you will make sure that you still throw a few blows. That's the only way to win. So, I encourage you. This is every one of us passed through here. So, keep doing it. Keep doing it. You will see like Jesus the reward of your suffering. And you'll be comforted. You will see the people you have been praying for lose the bounds of the oppressor. And you will say, ah, it was good that I was paralyzed. I shared with you that during the Obama shot 200 hours, 
I became full right side paralyzed. What first centered my heart was, hey, hey. I now dragged, if you have been to my house before, from that dining table, I now dragged to the door because that's where I kept my mantle. My son has inherited that mantle now. I, I think it's my, it's the mantle I've used to pray most. It's a muffler, but he has prayer power. So that his own childhood would not be like my own. I've now given it to him. So he handles it. I now use teeth and this one hand to tie it on my right leg. I could not pray out because my lips had bent. My half of my face was dead. And I was praying in my heart. By my timing, it took two hours forty-five minutes before life came to the tip of my fingers and I stayed. Till I finished praying. When I came back, the first thing I did was laugh because it was a scare. Say, ah! So I don't know if you work like that. I beg. So I went back to my table and continued my sermon notes. When I called Papa the following morning, he said, Yes, yes. Now you are touching the principalities of your city. Those of us who came for that meeting knew the transformation that has happened to our city, and we can see what is about to come of such events I'll share with you one night one night around 11.45 Willie just called me and said Reverend one ball in you one ball in you ah, tell him, boy. all of a sudden I saw a cloud dark float into the room ah, you alone, boy. so I engaged it I engaged it I engaged it and I survived but it cost me sleep that's why some of us sleep now. So, be encouraged. Keep fighting. Can we say that to the person? Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Keep fighting. Be encouraged. That's the only way to win. If you run away and there's nobody in this generation to take your place, it means the affliction will enter the next generation. God has an expectation. God has a plan to see his expectation met. But a generation must come in alignment. And we say yes to Jesus. Ibarasia Tabo, Meka Baba, Kamande Kaidatos. We will hold nothing, Jesus. You want a generation, we offer you one. Let the waitings come to an end.